Me and Jesus and my old guitar. Me and Jesus and my old guitar. I love to get along, get my fingers to the bone. Hope that God is tapping his foot on the throne. Me and Jesus and my old guitar. Me and Jesus and my old guitar. With these six little strings, gonna do my thing. Me and Jesus and my old. And my old Jesus and my old guitar. Jesus and my old guitar. Great song by Doyle Dykes. So hey everybody, how you doing? It's your old pal Tim. Um, got some big news, and I want to share it with you. And I'm going to dive right in. So from the very beginning, Faith Recovery and Music was supposed to be a presentation ministry, a ministry that we took to the streets, so to speak. Um, that was the plan that I had. God had a much bigger plan as usual. So what's happened is over the last few months, uh, we've resorted to technology and uh, we have uh, the Facebook group and we have a YouTube channel, we have a website, and we also have a podcast. And they're all just, they're doing great. It's its amazing um, the response we're getting and the podcast especially. We've got people from all over the world listening to it. It's really exciting. I mean, it's, it's really cool. So uh, that's how God works, you know. Uh, get an idea, an inspiration from above and roll with it and then something like COVID comes in and God says, well, watch this. We're going to do this now. Thankfully, we've been able to adapt. And um, thankfully, um, I had the stuff uh, already that we needed to do the podcast and to do these videos, um, to do the music and, and everything. So I've been, I've been blessed that I just happen to have that stuff as a musician. So uh, now here's what, uh, here's what we're getting together about right now. And uh, I'm asking for something pretty big. So Minnesota has what's called Give to the Max Day. Okay? Give to the Max Day. And this year, Give to the Max Day will be on Thursday, November 19th. And what that means is if you go to their website, so which is GiveMN. That's it, givemn.org. If you Google GiveMN, you'll get this on the side, and you can even click on the website right here, and it'll, um, you know, of course, bring you to it. Givemn.org. Support the Minnesota causes you care about. And now, um, since we are a bona fide and recognized, fully legal nonprofit organization recognized by the state of Minnesota and the IRS, we are eligible and we are part of this now. We are part of Give to the Max Day. So if you go down here and you just, it says, find a cause and support, and you just simply type in Faith Recovery and Music, and then what happens is, boom, our page comes up. Look at our page, we got a page here. So Faith Recovery and Music, donate, fundraise, and then we get into what we are and what we do have a few pictures on there a few pictures down here some of the things that god has enabled us to do um, some of the uh, programs we've used to reach out to help addicts and alcoholics um, just to sort of so people who come on it that have never seen it before can get a really good idea of what we're all about talks about everything from the what uh, goes on in the community to the Facebook page, to YouTube, to the podcast, to our, our meetings on Thursdays, um, to some of the things we do with and in conjunction with other nonprofits. And it's really cool. I mean, it's really cool. So now hold on to your hats because our goal with Give MN220 is to raise $10,000, okay? Now, when you get up, I'm going to tell you why. To cover the full cost of a complete sound and light system, okay? Um, which will enable us to do what the ministry was originally 
uh, designed to do and set out to do. So this will be in addition to what we've already been doing due to COVID. God has said, look, it was a presentation ministry, but now with these podcasts and with these, uh, the Facebook page and the YouTube channel, um, you have the ability to reach out to a lot more people, as we just said. So yeah, yeah, that's going to keep going. And hopefully that'll keep building too. It's up to God. Um, but we also have to be ready for when COVID ends and it's going to end. It's going to end. We've got to be ready to take this ministry to the streets. Now, I've, I've done it over the last year with a, a small system that I have that I piece together. But we're looking at some larger um, opportunity to get out, you know, and you, you get into some of these, you know, a lot of, granted, a lot of churches have their own sound and light systems. But when you get into some of these prisons, some of these treatment facilities, maybe some of the smaller churches, or even some of the outdoor festivals, we're going to need to bring a sound and light system. Um, for these presentations. Now, if you know anything about sound and lights, um, you'll probably agree with me that $10,000 for a complete system is not that much money. Um, and it'll work. I can make that work because uh, we're very frugal. We're very frugal here. I will piece together a good quality system. Um, if we get more than the $10,000, then of course the money will go back into the ministry for other um, other endeavors and if we don't reach the money goal um, now I'm gonna put it in I, I'm, we need to get this so it, it needs to be done and I'd never ask you to give your hard-earned money to something that I'm not willing to give to myself so um, again the system will be designed for both small and large presentations and put together accordingly to meet the needs of all faith recovery and music live presentations and faith-based concerts. And at these concerts, we'll give our testimonies, we'll share our experiences, and we'll rejoice in our recovery, all while praising and worshiping our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. You know, with these presentations, we, we hope to strengthen people's recovery and if there are people out there that are on the fence about recovery because it took me a long time to actually get in and accumulate some time, um, there's a lot of fear involved. I'm hoping that these presentations are good and strong and God will bless them and they'll hear the word of Christ and, and, and they'll say, I, I'm going to try this. I'm going to try to clean up. You know, that's, that's all we can ask for. You know, and uh, by the grace of God, um, I have 26 years clean and I'm able to do this. So that's that. So give to the max day, November 19th. That's the big day. However, with the page up already, you can visit it now and you, and you can donate. You don't, you don't have to wait. You don't have to wait till that day. So donate, fundraise. There's our $10,000 goal. There's what we are. We have a, a link to the podcast, link to our website, and then what we're doing with this money. I don't feel God wants us to wait anymore. Um, and I feel a lot of that. I, I've, I've had to practice a lot of patience with this ministry over the last couple years, even though in the last year it's, it's really exploded. And it's all because of God. All of it, all glory goes to, to God. But I feel that with this Give to the Max Day coming up and looking at a few of the things that we need to, again, take this to the streets, so to speak, God is saying the time is now and we need your help. We need your help so we can help and all praise will go to God. We help ourselves so we can help others and we do it all while serving God and our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Thank you and remember, Together, we're better. And you can check out our website at www.faithrecoverymusic.com. Thanks. We'll talk soon.